and welcome to Tonic Studios. My name is Karen and today I'm here to make something for you using the Dreamcatcher Designer's Choice die set. So what I'm going to be making for you today is using the uh, Dreamcatcher die set but I haven't actually made a Dreamcatcher. What I thought was you've seen the reveal, you saw how many beautiful uh, Dreamcatchers we had there so I thought I'd make something different. So I've come up with using them as a frame. I mean, if you if you saw the reveal, then you will have heard uh, myself and Laura talking about this. And I kind of, kind of had to steal the idea that she said, oh, it could also be a frame. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> I'm having that. I'm having that. I'm doing that. So yeah, this is what I've come up with. I hope you like it, Laura, because it was your idea. <laughs> but yeah, I thought we'll use the memory book sets and make some frames to go in your memory box. Um, right, so let's get started. I've already die cut most of my pieces, but what I wanted to show you was how I made these little feathers because what I've done, I've cut some out of card, I've cut some out of vellum, and I've even got all my, my little ones there all ready to go. And I've inked them and I'd just like to show you what I've done with those because I've inked them and then I've I've snipped and snipped and snipped and snipped <laughs> <laughs> and then snipped some more. So we'll just have a little look how to how to make one of these feathers. So I've cut the two here to show you. These are the two sizes in the die set. I'm going to bring a different mat in because I'm so messy. Even though I can use this piece, I'm going to put something on top of it. So, just so it's a little bit cleaner. I've got my inks. These are what I'm using. So, obviously, some hybrid inks and some daubers. So, I'm just going to pop a little bit of ink on there. And this is how I like to do it. So, I just take a little bit of the ink and I just drag it in from the edge just to give... A little bit of colour. I don't want that colour all over it. So I'm just going to drag it in. A little bit of colour just on the edges. And I think that'll be me. That's enough. And so if I was going to do the blue one, I'll do the blue on the little one. So this is... My, my pink I'm using is Exotic Orchid. And my blue is Laguna Bay. There's my Laguna Bay. And again, just a tiny bit, just drag it in along the edge. And that is it. That's as much as I do with colouring. That's as good as it gets. So from that, I can get rid of those inks. And this, because that is what I'm going to put my hand in. So we've got the two little feathers. And what I'm using is a little curved scissors. So we did used to do these here. We we haven't stocked them for an awful long time. But, I mean, you've a lot of you have got curved scissors. All I'm going to do is, we've got a line on this, just a, a deboss line in the die. So I'm going to just snip. I'm going to go up quite close to that line. I mean, it's not perfect. And just go as close as I can to the previous cut without snipping them off obviously and just follow that line down just angled it down slightly as we go in you find if you've got a, a thicker one you can just go back up and snip them and just keep going down until you get to the bottom and the same for the other side so i'm just going to snip these i've run out of the line so I'm just gonna imagine where that is to the end there to do the other side I'm gonna flip it over because it's easier I can still go from the top again so we're just gonna go from up here bring it down I'm gonna go along this long piece so that I don't snip it off and to there and then just keep going and it gives a really nice feathered effect really. I mean I, I don't really know how else to describe it with all these little cuts close together. But you just keep going. 
nice sharp scissors all the way down to the bottom. Oh, we're almost there. So one side is a bit wider than the other. So this is just the way the die has been made. So just follow it down. And there's our little feathered feather. Don't know whether that's nice and clear there. You could just see a little bit of colour on the back of it. My jumper's taken away from that a little bit. Just a bit bright today. But that's your that's your feathers. It's exactly the same for the smaller ones, so just snip, 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 all the way down. It's really quick to do this one, actually, so just all the way down, just snip, 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 and I mean, you don't need to see me doing that one again. So, but it, it's, it's exactly the same, just following that line, snipping up to that centre line. So that's how I feathered my feathers. So we're going to start to glue this together. You've seen the finished thing, so you know which way these are going to go. I'm just going to get my glue on the back of this. So, thought it was just nice to do something else. I mean, you've seen dream catchers and they are beautiful, but we like to get as much as we can out of our dice set. We really do like to get these Get as much value for money as we can. So, just pop a little bit of glue just around these pieces. Make sure they all stay down <clears throat> nicely. And a little bit there. Just go around this central opening. I'm just going to dab that off. Just a bit of scrap paper so that I don't get it everywhere because I am notoriously messy. So I'm going to line that up so it's got a little bit of a drop shadow. I can tell you exactly what I've used. So I've even made a list. I'm so organised today. So organised. Yes. So I've got... <laughs> I know. I've, I've just taken Alex by surprise, I think. Um, so we've got a Hollow Waves. We've got a uh, silky sky uh, in the satin mirror card and the arctic blue in the classic card here. I'm also going to, because I've drop shadowed that to get this nice little effect here, it's left me with a bit of excess card here that I don't like. So I'm going to snip that off. So again, my trusty little... Teeny tiny sharp scissors comes in handy and I'm going to trim that off. I mean, you can leave it because it's just the rest of the drop shadow, but I just don't want it there. So, I mean, this is an option if ever you have little bits of... I mean, even if you've layered and you haven't layered perhaps perfectly enough, I'm here to show you the easy bits. <laughs> the cheats. <laughs> the little the little things that you shouldn't be doing, but we do. So that's my perfect die cut. I'm going to stick this in place, ready for my photograph. So I'm going to pop this onto the hollow waves again. Nice bit of deluxe. This is where I've got to be careful with my glue because we don't want it squidging out. I'm going to pop it on there, tiny bit on these little points to make sure that it stays down where we want it and nowhere else. I'm going to take the excess off again just because I don't want it squidging out. Let's hope we've got that perfectly. So what I'm going to do, the, the way I'm going to line it up is I'm lining with this central hole here. So th this would be, if it were a dream catcher, it would be that way with your hanging hole and your central hole, uh, your holes on the bottom there for hanging, uh, hanging the um, the layers down. But I'm going to put this to the side, and I'm going to line up with this central hole. So that's my point there, lining up roughly with that central hole. 
and we'll see if we can get that to glue down without any glue squidging through. It'll be a miracle. I am one of the messiest people. The reason I don't do messy crafting is because I'm messy enough with a die cut. I do not need anything to make me messier. So I've got a tiny, tiny little bit there that we can get off. So that's fine. Yeah, that's not too bad. Happy with that. Tiny bit there. But you can always take, if you've got excess glue that you don't want to be seen, you can always get like a little cotton bud or something and get it in there, just a damp cotton bud, because the, the deluxe adhesive is obviously uh, water-based, so so that'll be that'll be fine there to get that off. So we've got our little picture. Now these are just pre-printed toppers, but it could be obviously your um your family members if you're making a nice memory book for somebody and this this is just your little double layout for your memory book so i'm gonna pop these two little boys in here have i got this the right way yes i have all right so what i've done in this one is i've cut that central hole out of this sorry i forgot to mention that i'm gonna bring the dice set back in actually I didn't even tell you what I cut. So I've got two different ones to show you today. So I'm making this one. I'm just going to show you the other one because you don't want to see me doing this twice. So I've cut this layer here out just to get that aperture because I wanted this matte background to show. So I've taken it out to the silky sky and I've left it in there on the um, Arctic Blue. And I've just popped my little babies in there and they look really cute. So we're going to add some feathers. I've already threaded these because you don't want to see me doing that as well. I've just taken a little bit of embroidery thread, threaded it through the, the little hanger at the top of the feather. Pop them all onto a piece of double-sided tape, ready to stick through here. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to thread that through the, the hanger there, leave enough, turn it over and take the cover off my double-sided. I know roughly where that's going. There's the one. And that can go off there. So there's that one, all ready to go. Oh, look at those little babies. They're just so cute. For the others, I'm going to get my feathers. I've used five. I've done two in the holographic, in the hollow waves. And with the um, vellum, because it's translucent, it doesn't matter which side of the die cut you use. So you've just got that little bit of movement in the feathers then because the card is obviously going to have to be that way. But the, fe uh, the vellum can be on the back. So I'm going to pop my glue gun on here and we'll just lay these down. I'll pop another vellum feather. I'm just going to just arrange them quickly. Put these. They've got a bit of movement as well. They kind of, as you've um, snipped them, they kind of twist, which I absolutely love. It's a little bit unexpected and I like that. So I'm going to lay this down probably, probably like that, I think. So I'm just going to pop some glue onto my uh, feathers. So only a tiny dab because I'm just going to catch them. And even though, I mean, as we all know, you're going to see glue through vellum. So we're going to, we can cover those little glue spots then with some pretty little some pretty little uh, butterflies that we've got here. So we'll pop some, just cover up little dots of glue on these and then we'll
Oh, because I'm actually gluing into the holes, you will find that you will glue it to your tabletop. So always have something underneath, like these glass mats, because it just peels straight back off. So there's my feathers all laid down the side, glue everywhere. And you also get these little, these little bits. Just pull those off. Okay. That's that. I've got my little butterflies. Cut plenty of those. I mean, if you saw our reveal with myself and Laura, I'll always tell you. If you see an odd butterfly in the middle of something, you'll know I've made a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a dirty handprint, or I've dropped glue. <laughs> Anything. None of, our, <laughs> none of our other crafters give that tip. Ah, uh. oh, <laughs> do you know what? I'll tell you like it is. If you don't like it, if you haven't layered properly, trim it off. If you <laughs> if you've got some glue where it shouldn't be, stick a butterfly on it. And then I've got one more show in here, and I'll pop one on there. I mean, you can always put one. You can put put them wherever you want them. I've just put them here, just for, I might put a little one between my babies. They're not my babies, but they are for the moment. There we go. Oh, that's cute. Okay, so that is what I've made with the actual die set. And this is the way we're going to show it. So I've already made another one here. So we've got our double page spread. So this is the Life's Journey Keepsake Base Maker. And it makes the memory book and the layers. And I can see a little bit of gloom is driving me mad. <laughs> um, so I've made the double page matching. So we've got the big sister, here she is. We've got the new babies and she's just looking over at them and it's just all really cute. Got the feathers matching, the butterflies and these little nice draped feathers here and the glue, which is driving me mad. <laughs> You'll get that with hot glue. It just leaves strings, but you can you can just pull them off. They just, they're not attached to anything. They're completely dry. So I've popped some 3D foam pads on the back of this one, ready to stick in place. And you can see what I've done with this one is, I have left the center in. Whereas I've cut the center out on this one, I've left it in on this one just to have just that little difference. And I've uh, layered her on top. So we've got her there. I'm just going to put it down. I'm going to put some 3D foam pads on this side. So I need to cut off now. On the top of that. Plenty of 3D foam so that it doesn't dip. I might actually cut one in half and put one there because I put that one over a little bit too far. That's the other thing with the with the big foam pads that we do here. They are amazing. Just cut them up whatever size you need. They're fab. So I'm just going to take the tops off these and get these stuck into position. <clears throat> I've also cut the sentiment. And I've cut it out of the two colours. And I've split it in half. So I'm not going to glue them down just yet. I'm going to leave them loose so that I can arrange my sentiment because I want Make Your Dreams to show this side. So he's going to have to come down slightly. And we'll have Make Your Dreams there. We'll have it at an angle. And then we've got Come True. And I might pop that in the opposite corner so she can go up slightly. And hope it doesn't get too covered by my feathers. Mm, no, it's going to, so it's going to have to come over here. Right. 
There we go. I want to make sure the feathers stay in the page. So they can go down, that can go down as well. Get some glue onto my sentiment. Um, I've used a 300 GSM just to make my back in, which you'd probably use for your pages or use whatever you've got there. We've got a, a good range of card in our Craft Perfect collection now. So there's going to be something for you. Make your dreams on the one side. Go down nicely. And a little bit of deluxe on the back of this one too. Just little dots. Take off the excess. You can see from the die set where I've cut these away. So I've just taken the sentiment and trimmed it in half basically. Come true is going to go on the bottom there. Lovely. And there. Oh, no. I've missed. I've missed something, Alex. Turn my glue gun <laughs> off as well. Hang on. I've got a bow. I just want to pop a bow down just to, to finish off. So we've got the matching sides there and it'll also help to hold these feathers in place so i'm just going over the top of the the thread there and there is my my make so what are you going to make with this die set tag us in your makes we love to see what you're making thanks for joining me today happy crafting <laughs>